Today, I'm going to show you a mind-blowing AI tool which will replace Photoshop or any other paid image editor because this AI tool can edit, enhance and even create images with just a simple text prompt, all for free. I'm talking about the Google Gemini app which has gotten a huge update with its new image editing model called Nano Banana. Here's what happens when I ask ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot to edit an image. The face changes, the outfit looks different, sometimes the person doesn't even look remotely the same. It clearly looks AI generated and it takes forever to get one result. Now watch this. With Google's new image editing model in Gemini app, I upload the same photo and ask it to edit to my likings. Within seconds, boom, the outfit changes, the background shifts and the mood transforms. But the face, the identity stays perfectly consistent. It's fast, it's natural and honestly, it makes every other AI tool feel outdated. In this video, I'll break down what exactly Nano Banana is, how you can use it step by step and I'll share some real world use cases that will make you think Wow, I could actually use this today. Let's dive in. First thing first, let's clear up the mystery. Nano Banana, the name that has the whole tech community buzzing, is the code name for Google's latest, most advanced AI image model, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. The name Flash is a huge clue. This model is built for speed. It's incredibly fast, but what makes it truly unique isn't just its speed, it's the fundamental nature. Most of the AI image tools you've probably used like Midjourney or DALI are what we call text to image models. You type in a prompt and they generate a new image from scratch. They are phenomenal at creating new worlds and concepts. But what if you have an existing image that you want to change? What if you have a photo of yourself and you want to put on a different shirt? or you want to remove that one person in the background. With most tools, you would have to use a complex prompt, hope for the best and often get a completely new version of the image where your face or the main subject looks totally different. Nano Banana solves this. It's an image to image model at its core. You start with an image and give it a text prompt that acts as your editing instructions. It's so good. You can tell it, change this, add that, remove this person, and it just does it. It understands the context, the light, the composition, and it makes the changes while, this is important, keeping everything else perfectly consistent. The most incredible part, it maintains the identity of the person or object you're editing. This is something other models have historically struggled with. And because it's so fast, the creative feedback loop is almost instantaneous. You can go from an idea to a polished image in seconds, not minutes. All right, let's get into the fun part. I want to show you exactly how this works with a few practical examples. Let's say I have this photo of a quiet scenic hiking trail. It's a nice shot, but it's a bit plain. I want to give it some more atmosphere. So I'll upload the image. Then in the prompt box, I'll type something simple and descriptive. Something like, make this image look like it's a foggy, mysterious morning, add rays of sunlight filtering through the trees. And just like that, look at the difference. The entire mood of the photo has changed. The light, the atmosphere, it's all there and it all feels completely natural. I didn't have to draw a single mask or adjust a single layer. I just told it what I wanted and I really liked how Gemini generated the image on this one. This is one of my favorite cases. Think about all of those times you took a great photo but there was a distracting element in the background. Here's a photo of me on the beach. It's perfect except for those people behind me. And also I need some drama in the image. I'll upload the image and simply type remove the people behind me and also add a golden hour sunset effect in the image. And the people are gone, no trace. The AI also didn't just blur it out, it intelligently reconstructed the scene behind it. It's unbelievable. And I love how the image is now well edited with the sunset mood and the overall look is just fab. Now here's what ChatGPT has generated after a long wait. I have three issues here. 
One, the face looks tweaked. Even though it looks like me, I can see how it has tweaked the face a bit. Two, I've tried this golden or sunset vibe before with ChatGPT and I've never liked this artificial yellow tint in the image. This doesn't feel natural at all. Three, it took so long to generate the image, but I have to give OpenAI on one thing. The image resolution seems better on ChatGPT compared to Gemini. I'm on the free version of Gemini. Maybe the paid version produces high resolution images. I need to test it out on that. Okay, next, let's try this. Here's a cozy photo of me with my daughter. I definitely love it, but what my daughter will love even more will be adding a rainbow behind us. Let's see if Gemini can do that. Look at that. The rainbow is not cartoony or fake. It looks so real and blends well into the image. The lighting, the shadows, it's all perfectly integrated and I think she'll love it. Let me try this. Uploading an image of me and asking it to change the dress I'm wearing to a black evening dress with matching handbag and shoe. Wow, it generated the same dress but in black. Let me ask it to generate the image with a different black dress. I love how it can keep my face the same in all the generated images, unlike other AIs. I love this dress, by the way. I've always wanted to carry a puppy, but my fears stop me. So let me generate an image holding one of our friend's puppy in my hand. Wow, look how natural and real this looks. I really want to see what ChatGPT can do with this. Well, after a long wait, ChatGPT generated an image of someone holding a puppy and the scene is so different. Somehow this feels very fake. What do you think? Now that you have seen the power of Nano Banana, let's talk about how this can be applied to real world scenarios. This isn't just for fun edits. This is a professional grade tool that can change workflows across countless industries. If you're a YouTuber, social media influencer, a blogger, or anyone who needs to produce a high volume of visuals, this is a game changer. Think about a product review. You have one hero shot of a product, you need to create multiple images for your blog post. Before, this would require a professional photographer or hours of tedious work in an editing app. With Nano Banana, you can take that single hero shot and with simple prompts, create an entire suite of images. Check this out. Place the product on a modern, minimalistic table with a laptop next to it. Show the product in a busy city cafe. Reimagine the product in a whimsical, pastel-colored scene. You get the perfect brand and product consistency, but in completely new and diverse contexts. But one thing I noticed, and I think there is still room for improvement, is that the generated image sometimes is of low quality. So that's something you have to keep in mind. But if you use the paid version of Gemini, let me know if the quality is different. Have an old family photo that's faded, Restore this faded black and white photo, make the colors vibrant and clear. Want to create a personal comic book or a storyboard? You can generate the same character in multiple scenes and in different poses, all while maintaining their consistent identity. It's the ultimate tool for personal projects, for creating unique gifts or just exploring your own creativity without any of the technical barriers. Gemini Flash is the first update that genuinely felt like I can use it for something useful, reliably, and without looking AI-generated. What do you think of this update? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology and creativity. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.